Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us for our very last installment of Monrovia's Comfy Camping from Home. Woo! Now, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. You can still continue to camp comfortably from home or anywhere. I hope that you're going with a grown up. I hope you'll leave a note so they know where you're going. Anyway, let's do this today. Uh, we're gonna do an insect safari and uh, there's no better place to do an insect safari than your own backyard. But before you run off, why don't you come with me to my backyard and we'll see what we've got. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tour of my backyard and the insects that live in it. Uh, it's getting kind of late, so we should probably get started with reading some books, huh? For the story time. Um, before we get started with our next book, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about spiders because spiders are not insects, but they often get confused for insects, right? So what's the difference? Well, spiders have eight legs, whereas insects usually have six. Um, spiders do not have antenna, right? But most insects do. And spiders' bodies only have two parts, whereas insects have three. So bear that in mind before we get started uh, with our next book. And um, I totally did not write these facts down on my hand to remember that. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy the next one. So now we're gonna read about wolf spiders and here we go we have this fabulous picture of a wolf spider looks kind of cute right wouldn't mind having that for a pet i suppose it could be worse let's see all right here we go look at this beauty fast and furry a wolf spider waits she watches She's in her burrow. She does not need a web. Did you guys know that? Did you know some spiders don't need a web? She sees a fly. She runs fast. She jumps on it. She holds it with her legs. Then she bites. Yeah. Um. A wolf spider can see well, even at night. But predators can't see her. Why? She has hair. It is dark. It helps her blend in. Hmm. I have dark hair. Can you see me? <laughs> nope. I'm camouflaged. Here is a male. He moves his palps. He wants to mate. The female lays eggs around a hundred. She wraps them in silk. This makes an egg sack. She carries it with her. Look at how big that egg sack is compared to the spider. Could you imagine having to carry something around with you that was as big as you are? That's crazy. Oh, look, it's time. The spiderlings come out. They hitch a ride with mom. She looks like a proud mama, doesn't she? Lucky, lucky wolf spider. 
Ooh, they are safe on mom's back. They will leave after two weeks. They will make their own burrows. And here we have a map, and this map shows us all the places that the wolf spider lives. Any place that you see that is this golden color is where you can find the wolf spider. What do you think? Do we have wolf spiders here in Monrovia? So that book was pretty cool, right? But what if you're like, hey, not so crazy about spiders, and besides, you cheated. They're not even insects. Well, don't worry. You can check out books on insects out the library, like this one that we have here on bees. Or you could check out A Dragonfly's Life. Or maybe you're like, I want to be a fly when I grow up. Well, then there you go. Look, you can become a fly. Uh, that's not all, though. We also have crickets, very musical, and grasshoppers that hop on the grass. Or maybe you're like, ew, gross, I'm done with bugs. I'm interested in things that are beautiful, like butterflies. Well then look, there you go. We have a whole book about a girl who drew butterflies. Hey, got a gold seal on it, can't be bad, right? Or check out this other book here, uh, Bug Boys. That looks pretty good, I wonder where they're going. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, you might be saying to me, but wait, Linda, the library's closed. Well, no, it's not. Looky here, we have curbside pickup. So you just get a grown up to contact the library and tell us what it is you're interested in, and we'll get it all ready for you and set it right outside. There you go. Front door curbside service. Who could ask for more than that? Anyway, let's get back to some books, shall we? All right, so we're going to read The Grasshopper and the Ants by Jerry Pinkney. And here on the inside, he's asking us if you sing in spring and dance in summer and play in fall, what will happen in winter? I don't know. Sounds like a lot of work. Maybe I'll just take a nap. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Why work so hard, sang Grasshopper? It's spring and time to go fishing. No time to relax, said the ants. Oh man, look at all these ants. They are working hard. What's this guy? And what's this guy over here? Hmm. Do you think you'd rather be an ant working hard or a grasshopper fishing? Why labor so long, Grasshopper chirped? It's summertime. Let's have a picnic of fresh, yummy leaves. Mmm, just like Mom used to make. Right, boys and girls? How does your mom make your leaves? Come join me in making music. Mmm, can any of you make music? What are these instruments that the Grasshopper has? No summer light to waste, replied the ants. Autumn will be here soon. Oh boy, they're getting ready for fall, aren't they? What's gonna happen in the fall? Why toil so steady, asked Grasshopper. It's fall and the world is a playground of leaves. Oh, how their colors twirl and glide. Come dance and sing. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, right? Hmm, I guess we'll find out. Look at this wonderful mountain of leaves. Come play. Whoosh. That's a lot of fun, isn't it? And oh, how I love the sparkle of first snow. Come see. Wow, he's pretty talented to be playing with his back legs. I can't play any instruments with my back legs or my front legs. Working can wait, Grasshopper said. Winter is for making snow angels and snow hoppers. If only someone would join me, Grasshopper shivered. 
Oh, he looks cold. He should put some pants on. Where is he going? What is that over there? Who is in that window? What do you see? Oh, and look at everybody inside. Who do they see in their window? Hmm. Look at everybody in there. Are they still working? What is it that they're doing? Do they look happy? What about Grasshopper? Does he look happy? Oh, what does he see over there? What is he looking towards? A cup of tea, best Queen Ant? <laughs> How gracious of her! How kind of you, said Grasshopper. Oh, there we go. That's much better, isn't it? And that, boys and girls, is the end. Hold up, before you start your midnight insect safari, I wanted to let you know about some other events that we have going on at the library. We have a virtual game night for grown-ups. Imagine that, events for grown-ups. Uh, this happens every second and fourth Thursday of the month, and you can RSVP online at monrovialibrary.org, and you'll get uh, Zoom access to that event. We also have, in addition to books and game night, um, we have some resume writing assistance, um, career sources, and also live tutoring in case you're having any issues getting back into the swing of things at school. Um, don't be afraid to look us up. Hey guys, I hope you had a good time. I know I certainly did. We learned about a lot of bugs. We read a couple of different books about bugs. We talked about resources that you can get from the library, not just about bugs, and you learned about some programs that we have going on. We're looking forward to having you come back and join us. Stay in touch, okay? Bye!